Um, so in this question, we have a box with hot gas on the outside. Um, and these are Pyrex uh, spheres in the middle, or particles. Um, the Pyrex spheres are initially at 25 degrees Celsius. Uh, what we want to find, this is a transient um, conduction problem. And we want to find the time for the sphere um, at near the inlet for a sphere uh, to reach 90% of the maximum possible thermal energy. Um, and we also want to find the temperature at the center of the sphere during this time. Okay. So the first thing we want to do for any transient problem is actually find the BO number. Uh, because if this number is less than 0 0.1, then we can basically greatly simplify the entire problem. Because then the, um, we're saying that at any given time, the temperature gradient within the actual um, sphere or the object itself is basically negligible. Um, so that takes away one of the dimensions and only makes it time dependent instead of both time and space dependent. Um, so we want to check that the BO number, uh, which is by definition HL over K, um, but the L is actually a characteristic length, um, which is equal to the volume over the surface area. Uh, so for a sphere, this is equal to R over 3. Um, so in this case, we want to substitute h r over 3 k is going to be our BO number. Um, substituting in the values that we have in the problem, we have that the h 75 r is equal to 0 0.075 over 2, because we're given the diameter, over 3 times 240. Um, this actually gives a BO number of 0 0.0039 which we can see is greatly less than 0 0.1. Um, so we can actually assume the, uh, we can assume that the temperature gradient is negligible and we can use the lumped capacitance method. Okay, okay. Um, so now we wanna do our energy balance, which says that for the lumped capacitance method, Q over rho V, Cp theta i, one minus, is equal, uh, one minus e to the minus t over tau. Um, and in this case, because we know that we're transferring 90% of the thermal energy, we can actually rewrite this to say that Q over rho v Cp to i is equal to 0 0.9, which is equal to one minus e to the minus t over tau. Um, so we can kind of see this equality by substituting in different values for t, with t equals zero and t approaching infinity. Um, because we expect as t equals zero, then no heat is transferred because it hasn't had any time to transfer. So when t is equal to zero, uh, e to the t becomes um, one, uh, which means that this whole value is one. Uh, whereas when t approaches infinity, uh, e to the minus t over tau will approach zero, um, meaning that this quantity is a quantity that is transferred. Um, so if, so that's kind of how we set up this equation. Um, so now we have that Q over uh, rho VCP tau um, is equal to 0 0.9. And so the next thing we want to do is find tau. Um, so the equation for that is that it's equal to rho VCP over H times uh, AS, giving us rho times pi d cubed the volume over 6 times CP over H pi d squared is equal to rho d CP over 6H. So if we simply substitute in our values, we get 2700 times 0 0.075 times 950 over 6 times 75 gives a time constant of 427 seconds. Um, so what we want to do now is solve this right side of the equation. 
because the only thing that we don't know is actually t time will take to reach 90% of its heat transfer. So we have that 0 0.9 is equal to 1 minus e to the minus t over tau, uh, giving us that minus t over tau is equal to ln of 1 minus 0 0.9. Um, this says that t is equal to minus tau ln of 0 0.1. Substituting our values gives 984 seconds. So therefore, we know that it takes 984 seconds to reach 90% of the maximum energy that is transferred. So the next thing we want to do is find the temperature. Um, so we'll know that for the lumped capacitance method, the following equation applies. T over tau. Um, so we have the initial temperature and we have T infinity. Um, we have the time we're at, we have the time constant. So the last thing we want to do is just isolate for the actual temperature itself. Um, it gives us that T is equal to minus E uh, to the exponent T over tau times initial temperature minus T infinity plus T infinity. This gives E to the minus 984 over 427 times 25 minus 300 plus 300, giving that the final temperature is 272.5 degrees Celsius. Um, and we're saying that the temperature at the center is equal to the temperature everywhere because we have applied the lump capacitance method um, when we solved that the Bo number was less than 0 0.1.